I'm back. It's your girl, Kajabiscuit. Biscuit. What up, y'all? Hey, and it's the Kingdom Grind Radio Show. Now, we got some lovely ladies in the building, so we're going to go ahead and, yo, come on now. Who we got? We got. Yeah. Cutie. Uh-huh. The pop shop girl. That's right. And? Courtney. All right. And then, now, our guest also here. Come on now, Judge. Now, we got to let everyone up. Ladies and gentlemen, who are you tonight? I'm just speak B-O-G. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to do that. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's been an interesting evening so far, so we're going to dive right into it and waste no time. So, QT, QT underscore pop shop guru. That's your IG tag, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, y'all just in the West Side. Y'all had a pop up shop in the West Side, Capital? We did. Nice. This past Sunday. Right? Okay, so how was it? It was great. It was a back to school bag, so we gave away probably about 100. Huh? About a hundred book bag school supplies. So okay. we created a, a really good crowd in the community. Nice, nice. Courtney, how are you tonight? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> good, good, good. So when it comes to the pop up shop, uh, ladies, like what uh made you guys like start it up? Like what was the reason? Was it something that you noticed that was missing in the community or what's up? No, actually, so I have an 18 year old daughter who started to make the little uh, bracelets. Okay. And she actually attended a pop shop. Okay. And she was totally unhappy with the turnout for mm -hmm. many reasons. Okay. So our goal was to find her another avenue to continue to sell her bracelets and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I told her we would, but I didn't put too much thought in it. Mm -hmm. But then one day at work, I was like, I was looking on Facebook, I was trying to find another you know, pop shop. And then I just thought about it. I was like, I just think this is something I can do myself. Like, I have a small business. Okay. So I have a little notebook that I bring with me everywhere I go. Okay. So I started, like, writing my notes. And Courtney's, like, my go-to. Like, when I'm thinking, like, random thoughts, Brain I call work. Courtney, like, look, this is what I got going on. Okay. And she was like, okay, let me think about it. All right. So then I had a friend who had an event center, and we're in the middle of a pandemic, so nobody's having parties, nobody's doing events. Right. So I was like, well, let me call him and see what the event center is doing. This one was in Hateville. Okay. So I called my ex. I was like, hey, so what's the event center doing? Are you having any parties? He was like, no, nobody's doing nothing. It's the I said, I got an idea. Okay. And he's a really good friend. He was like, what's up? So I kind of explained to him what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, just let me know how much it'll be for the event center. He was like, no, I'm going to let you figure out what you're doing and figure out if it works. And then we'll revisit that part. Okay. So that's kind of how I got started. I literally made a flyer, posted on Facebook, and it was booked in like eight hours. Wow. Yeah. And then I called Courtney, like, okay, Courtney, so now you got to go. Yeah, it's, it's time to go. It's go time. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's how I came about. Don't be trying to get out of it. How, how, how did it go? <laughs> <laughs> well, originally. That's right, boo -boo. That's right. No, but seriously, yes. in the middle of the pandemic, nobody knew what direction, you know, things the lives was going. Yeah, especially with work. Exactly. Okay. And her full time job is working at Southwest. Okay. okay. And so, you know, the airlines kind of went down. We were scared. Yeah. So you work with this dude? I do. Wow. <laughs> so that's how, oh, okay. He's interesting, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at that point, everybody was trying to come up with a way how they were going to be able to survive, take care of their kids. Okay. So that's kind of how we came up with that. You know, I have my own situation going on. She kind of was like, oh, I'm trying to see if I can do it today. I was like, oh, no, but we can try. <laughs> so, it totally wasn't my thing. Wasn't okay. her thing. And I was like, friend, what you like to do? And she was like, shop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then the next thing I know, she called me with this idea. And I said, okay, well, let's do it. Let's, you know, let's find us some vendors. I know a couple people. You know a couple people. Let's get them together. Nice. Let's see what we can do. Okay. And we did. Nice. We did. And been doing it since October 18th. Wow. So in the middle of a pandemic. In the middle of a pandemic. I, I tell you, there's a, 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 you either get the good out of it or the bad out of it. And I've seen where a lot of females, power to the women, like, hey, power to the women. came up, like tapped into our inner and said, you know what, there's something else that I really can do. I, I, I like to do this, I like to do that. And then turn what you like into a business and start making money and helping people and then Planting seeds and then birthing other, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, yes. Turning Planting your passion seeds. to your patient. Hey. That's been my motto. Put sure. it on a shirt. Turn your passion into a paycheck. I like that. Absolutely. I like that's, why, that's why the pandemic was a blessing. 
to a lot to of some people. people. To yeah, some sure. people it was, and to a lot of people it wasn't. But it you was know, it was a blessing for me. Hey, it was a blessing to a lot of us. It, it depends on like your, your how you took it, how you took it, like right. your vantage point, your, your mindset. mindset. You know, 